Right, Jimmy, here's a quick, very quick demo for you. If you look at the top there, we've got three domains, domain one and two, and the uh, original one. So if we go to advanced default settings, I've just added at the moment one limit thing uh, there. So extensions, numeric, five. So that's your default that's going to apply to all domains. So what we want to do now is we're going to copy that to... Uh, domain 1 and we're going to change domain 1's limit to extension limit to 10 so we'll do that so we'll go to the top check the box we we'll click copy and now we select the domain there domain 1 and click paste right so now if we go into advanced domains and domain 1 you'll see that that's now been added down here 5 so if we edit that there, we can change that to 10 and click save. And that shows the value of 10 there. But now what we have to do is log out for that to come into play in the session. So we log back in now uh, into the session. We go to advanced, uh, we'll switch domains to domain 1. I'll go to add 15 extensions and what it should do is just give us oops I'll go add um, we'll start with extension 200 go to add 15 extensions it should create 10 which it has there and you'll see there's no plus button at the top Whereas on the other hand, if we go to domain 2, accounts extensions, we go to add 10 there. Or 15 there, like we did the other one. Click save, and they should actually get 5. And that's how to have per domain limits. So our default settings still shows the 5 which domain 2 has inherited and we've used the custom setting for our domain 1 which overrides the, uh, the, the default setting advanced domains domain 1 and that can be done with any other settings right I hope that sorts that out for you cheers